soldiers are doing fine! <laughs> I'm just letting you know, if any of you redeem hydrate, I have a glass of wine right next to me. <laughs> what am I- what do I do here? I haven't played Crusader Kings in so goddamn long. <sighs> I- I kind of have a plan today. Uh, how do I enact it? I want to eat the Pope. I want to seduce the Pope, and then I want to eat the Pope. So, I was thinking we'd be someone close to the Pope so we can just, like, hang out with him a bunch. I know for a fact Vikings get eating the Pope event. Do I need an event to eat the Pope, or can I just, you know? It's an event they haven't added in the Eat Pope button yet. God damn it! What are the CK3 developers doing? You could be the Viking guy next to France. This guy? Count Olafur? He looks weak as fuck! You know the smaller guy below Brittany? Where is Brittany? Oh, this guy! Count... Count... Hey, love Montague. Whatever. We'll just we'll just start with this fucker. I mean, this territory, and we'll make our own ruler. Where did where did we pick that we were? We're gonna be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Beautiful. All right. What are some traits that popes find irresistible? Big ear. If you move that slider left and right, it looks like she. <laughs> Give me positive cheek fat. Give me some positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popes love cheek fat. They love when your cheeks are so forward. They're like, shit, girl, your cheeks are so forward. Um, yeah, sure. We can have a smooth chin. Popes love when you have a smooth chin. They're like, shit, girl, your chin is so smooth. She looks kind of concerned. Why does she look so concerned? No. Now she's angry. Can I make her sad? Sad mouth. Sad mouth. No, oh, I'm so sad. All right, I think this is good. I think this is our ultimate um, Pope's seducer. Popes probably want a woman whose hair is not even seen because they give in to temptation. She's like, oh, so small and petite. Oh, we should invite Bella Hadid. <laughs> okay, anyhow, <laughs> education. Which of these is the most educated for Pope? seducing why does she have wisdom it's 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 it's, it's medieval oh, it's like you guys don't know anything oh my god i have to teach you so much about crusader kings theory <laughs> all right what does the pope want pope probably wants a what's like a religious one zealous zealous i don't know how to fucking say it like oh no, we're so t temperate and and zealous but like on the down low we're like Horny as fuck. <laughs> oh, we should probably be beautiful so the popes love us. Oh yeah, I love how it gives you a little bit of lipstick. A little Kylie Jenner lip kit. Uh, which of these is Pope Seducer? Cannibal? True! Will people automatically hate her or is that like a secret? Is it like on the DL? Like, oh, a little cannibal on the DL. Like, oh, that that girl, she, she, she eats people, but like, it's chill. We don't tell other people. I guess she can be a drunkard. Okay. She looks kind of high. She doesn't look drunk. She looks high. What's a good Norse name? Oh, Aslaug. <laughs> the Yummy Dynasty. Do we want to be the Yummy Dynasty? Yummy, yummy, yummy. But with like IE maybe. Motto. Um, what's a good motto? Can a bitch ball in peace? That's so good. I'm so funny. Look at her. She look, She is having the time of her life, Countess Mary Magdalene of Montague. Is there a game mode easier than easy? <gasps> <laughs> why haven't I been playing on this the whole time? Oh my god, why did none of you tell me about the very easy game mode? Alright, where are we? This is our tiny ass little kingdom? Why did I make her so short? <laughs> Holy fuck, you're still making the sim? I'm picking her outfit? She's a nun. None of your business. <laughs> Is there anything that covers her face for maximum- <laughs> That's not what I meant. Yeah, that's good. I think the Pope will love that. <laughs> Zoom in. How do I do <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys having so much fun here at this Crusader Kings 3 stream? I know a lot of you have been hoping for a Crusader Kings 3 stream. Is this what you were wanting? Is this what you were hoping for? Alright, I'm zooming out now. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Hello! It's me, Mary Magdalene! 
Alright, good enough. We got MF Doom on the track. We can declare war on Count Olafur of Leon. Um, holy war for county. Let's do it. Yeah, get fucked, Count Olafur. You're not gonna know what hit him. Let's unpause. What could go wrong? Nothing. Oh, wow. Brittany is much larger than we are. Oh, good thing we're not going to war with Brittany. We're going to war with Leon. Army, go to Leon, army, go. Fuck him up, army. He has more men. Yeah, but we have heart, we have spirit, we have grind. She doesn't even have a general. Hold on. Look, my soldiers are doing fine. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What if I what if I what if I seduced this guy? I can't seduce people I'm at war with. What the fuck is the point of this game? Does this look like someone who knows what they're doing? <laughs> oh, that's true. I completely forgot about the Pope. We need to start talking to the Pope. Pope Nicholas. Hmm. This Pope is kind of old. No success chance. Pope. I'm just a little bit drunk right now. I haven't drunk alcohol in like two minutes. And like, I'm chill. Look, my army's back up to like 400 people. We can go back at them, yeah. Fuck, we lost it. <laughs> what do you think the reds? What red skull? A servant discreetly drops the package next to me. Inside is a smelly wax tablet, lazily etched, depicting a rather flatteringly endowed man form bent into a seductive po What? I glance around the hall stunned only to see Coelacanth staring back at me, he grins and his eyebrows start wiggling like frenzied caterpillars. Who is this bitch? He is our 78 year old bishop. Why is he sending us nudes? We can, I mean, I guess we can become lovers with our bishop. Yeah, this is good practice for the Pope seduction, exactly. Exactly. Oh, the fire roars, drinks have been had, and Coelacanth is calling me out for a story. My first thought is of a famous Norse folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told a story of my own life, perhaps of the time I lost the- <laughs> Man, come on! He's not named Steelacant, it fucking looks like it. Where is the eat someone decision? I haven't seen that one. Catholic cannibalism! <laughs> Nickname, The Fair. My leash, have you heard what they call you? My suffragan bishop, Coelacanth says to me while blushing. They call you Countess Mary Magdalene the Fair. Yeah, I am so beautiful. <laughs> oh, it looked like it would be a tedious evening once the feast entertainment was over, but Duke Hugo saved the day by suggesting you're reading from riddle poems. Yeah, good job, Duke Hugo. Duke, Duke Hugo, you're not that bad, Duke Hugo. Good, good shit. Whoa, experimentation? What the fuck is happening here? You can't see, but my mouth is hanging open. I offer Coelacanth my sincere thanks as he stares angrily at me through a haze of alchemy. It was not easy to find someone to volunteer to test my collection of substances. For him, it has been an evening of pain, burning sensations, and occasional unconsciousness. This is the guy who was seducing us earlier! Wait, why did we use him as a test subject? Why did that happen? What is this? What is experiment? Why was I testing potions on my... 80-year-old bishop who is in love with me. Damn kinky bishop? True. I was like, come into the basement, bishop. And he was like, shit, okay. And then I was like, drink this poison. Duke Hugo? Fuck, why is everyone trying to get in our pants? God damn. You know, I'm never someone to turn down a lover in this here game. <laughs> you lose 20 stress because you are lustful. You gain 20 stress because you are zealous. <laughs> Oh, Hugo, my honeycomb. <laughs> really? That's the best you can do, Mary Magdalene? Wow! Rosemary with human flesh? Excellent choice. Yes, 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 yes. Lejotur, thank you, Lejotur. What the fuck is happening here? How lucky we are to have such a righteous liege with true respect for the law. Gwalan's smirking face floats before me. We are blessed to live in a court where we can be free from fear. Behind Gwal in my court laughs and cheers. These people do not fear me. They do not respect me. They do not know me. I will show them who I am. What is, what is happening here? I want to drag him to the dungeon and then I'm going to eat him. Yummy. Yep, 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 yep. Put him in the dungeon and you can eat him. Yep, 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 yep. Yummy snack time. Where is the eat button? <laughs> Beheaded devour. Huh? Who are you? A lover. What? Why did someone join my war? Leave me alone! I thought this was fucking very easy! Oh my god! 
Your sinful acts come at a cost. That's crazy, my mom texted me that earlier today. I just wanted to seduce the Pope. I didn't want people to declare war on me. To the miserable Countess Mary Magdalene, may your humors rot in your living body. This war has gone on for too long. I'm glad to put an end to it. I accept your- I didn't fucking surrender, Count Olafur! Pope. Alright, we'll sway the Pope first. The first step in any seduction scheme is to get them to like you. Oh, I thought very- I forgot we were playing on very easy difficulty. I thought they were calling me very easy. And I was like, damn, rude, but fair. Who the hell are you? Gurgle stole. Gurgle stole has fallen for my subtle manipulation. Now how should I capitalize on this opportunity? I mean, we can gain like a third lover, I guess. You slyly manipulated Gurgle stole to fall madly in love with you? Yep, <laughs> that's just something I'm good at. <laughs> What the fuck? No! <laughs> God damn it! A walk through Montague reveals something deeply unpleasant. A plague has arrived in this once thriving, mm, debatable metropolis. Only one person has died from it? Is it even really a plague? What a way- <laughs> No laughing! <laughs> this game is so funny. Enter seclusion, isolate capital? Nah, fuck that. We're anti-vaxxers here. Oh shit! I have consumption? <laughs> legitimize your daughter? Uh, true. Fuck, she's also sick! Alright, you're legitimized. Congrats, Cecilia. Your future is bright, unless you die in like s a couple months, I guess. Consumption was seen as the hot girl disease? Shit, I guess it's no surprise that here at the Jillian Poo stream we got consumption. Damn. What's happening here? Yes! My air recovered from consumption! Let's go! I just whipped a nene. Good shit, Cecilia Mary Magdalene's daughter. <laughs> Yummy, what a name! <laughs> the Pope died! That's okay, maybe this new Pope will like us more. Pope? <gasps> 33? That's shit, that's kind of a young Pope. 35%? I win that every day of the week. How should I approach Pope Callistus? He seems like a reserved individual who prefers silence as a companion. At least that's how he appears on the surface. Who knows what sort of person he is in private? Is he meek and submissive or perhaps passionate and fiery? I'll find out once I have breached his stony exterior. For now, I have to decide how to make myself remain in his thoughts after spending some time alone. Do we think he has a secret romantic side? Do we think he prefers gentle lovers? Or do we think- or do we forsake this opportunity? We certainly don't forsake this opportunity. Don't say submissive Pope. Don't say submissive Pope. I think he prob- <laughs> I'd like to get to know you better. Pope Callistus appears tense at first, but relaxes over time as he starts to believe there's no ulterior motive behind my request. Little does he know there fucking is one! Before we part, I thank Callistus for the lovely time, and he tries to return- Oh, I love this guy! His traits are zealous, calm, and shy. He's also dumb as fuck. The perfect man! Smoldering chemistry? Yes, sir. Give me that Pope Callistus, my rational, zealot, bisexual Pope King. His hat is stupid. His hat is stupid. It looks like he's wearing two hats. Dumbass. As we meet cland clandestinely, the Supreme Pontiff and I, my being is filled with an awe and desire. Okay, I'm gonna stop reading this. Uh, <gasps> this is so kinky. He holds the key to my kingdom. God damn. Alright, uh, what do we do now? <laughs> I didn't think I'd get this far. You are in debt? I don't give a shit. Ask the Pope for money? True! Pope? Ask for goals. Please give me money, I'm so in debt. My dear sweetheart. Oh, thank you, Pope Callistus. What's his success chance of kidnapping the Pope? Uh... Holy moly, that's so high! Yeah, we'll get after. I am comfortably soaking at the bathhouse, finally getting some well-deserved downtime when a grating voice from somewhere nearby interrupts my tranquil thoughts. Did you see her? And that ridiculously tiny dot dot dot? A little farther into the room, I spot Duchess Perrin making obscene gestures surrounded by a crowd of laughing sycophants. It is hard to miss that they're all staring at me. She made a spectacle of mocking your private parts. I don't understand. What? 
I do have a tiny dick. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> Did the CK3 devs just not think anyone would play as a woman? <laughs> my Rose the Pope is playing absentmindedly with my hair. Oh, oh! He can become our soulmate! This is so cute! We're the Pope's soulmate! Intr oh, oh, okay. I feel like I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have known that. Oh, right, we're trying to abduct him. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> I was hoping this wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe he'll like it. <laughs> He's our soulmate! Do we want to eat him? <sighs> I mean, I guess that was the goal of the stream. I guess that was the goal of the stream. It's crazy that nothing happens. We don't get like a thing that's like, Oh, you eat the Pope, yeah. Mm. It's like, okay, moving on. New Pope. Pope Hadrianus, the 16-year-old Pope. Hello, Pope Hadrianus. We can abduct this Pope. <laughs> this tiny-ass county in France just keeps kidnapping Popes and eating them. <laughs> People are like, how does this keep happening? <laughs>